Health experts are worried that Minnesotans did not spend Thanksgiving at home and a surge in new cases of COVID-19 is coming. The governor was joined by Minnesota Department of Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm for a briefing today. We'll have more on that in a minute, but first, here are some of the headlines. MDH reported a number of new COVID cases over the Thanksgiving holiday and weekend. Go for football has canceled its second game after dozens on the team tested positive. And a drug maker is one step closer to getting a vaccine on the market. Minnesota's health commissioner says that we are now a hot spot for COVID-19 cases. The state reported 5,801 new cases today. 15 more Minnesotans died. But as Kate Raddatz shows us, health officials expect more people will die in the coming weeks. The Minnesota Department of Health said it took the state just over two weeks to go from 200,000 COVID-19 cases to 300,000 cases this month. Commissioner Malcolm believes it will likely only be another couple of weeks before we reach 400,000 cases. Minnesota now has more cases per population than New York, Arizona, Texas, or Florida, other previous hotspots. Governor Wall said he had a call earlier Monday with Vice President Mike Pence, Dr. Anthony Fauci, and other governors discussing a plan for a vaccine rollout. He said he hopes the state will soon be able to focus on educating the public about vaccine protocols. What's it going to look like? When do you have immunity? When do the asymptomatic stop spread? Those are all questions that we need the data and the science and then get that out to Minnesotans. Governor Wall said there has been some disagreement at the federal level over who should get the vaccine first, but it's possible the states could have some say. We've got a lot of folks in the healthcare industry that go back and forth across the borders. There needs to be coordination around this. Commissioner Malcolm said the state will start to see the effects of Thanksgiving gatherings in one to three weeks for cases, three to four weeks for deaths. Health officials thanked Minnesotans for making adjustments to their holiday plans and asked them to continue to stay diligent through the holiday season. I'm not going to surprise anybody. I, I think the guidance around Thanksgiving is going to be very similar around Christmas. Kate Raddatz, WCCO 4 News. Moderna is requesting emergency use for its COVID vaccine. The drug maker says that study results confirm it is 94.1% effective with no serious concerns. Of nearly 200 COVID cases, 11 were trial participants who received the real vaccine instead of a placebo. The 30 participants who got severely ill, including one who died, received dummy shots. Moderna says that means that the vaccine is 100% effective in preventing severe cases. Health experts say that this news could be considered a light at the end of the tunnel. However, Dr. Michael Osterholm told CBS this morning there is a concern Americans will be hesitant to get the vaccine once it's available. Right now, I have a major fear that uh, although these vaccines will start to become more available over the next several months, many Americans won't take them because of the fear that there are some safety issues with the vaccine. We have done nothing to really reassure Americans what these vaccines are, what they will do, how they will work, and why they're so important. Ostrom says vaccines will make all the difference between dying from the virus and surviving. He expects the first vaccine to be available to the general public in the spring. Mayo Clinic is waiting to see what will happen with COVID-19 after some may have gathered in large groups for Thanksgiving last week. Nurses say it'll be 10 to 14 days until they know what the future holds. Right now, 29 patients are in Mayo Clinic Rochester ICU being treated for COVID-19. They've been forced to expand their ICU unit to make more room. Those beds have been um, consistently pretty full. Uh, for the past several weeks now, and we haven't really seen much of a change in that here, even in just recent days. 